Assalamu alaikum. My name is Bashir Balogun. What we they talk today na al iktisul of Islam, banking in Islam. I na no say no be only me there on top this matter. We get our Imam Abdul Qadri. We go lecture us more about this topic. Imam, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Over to you, Imam. Nahmuduhu wa nasta'inuhu. ونستكفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهديه الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له الحمد لله we give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we appreciate him we give all acknowledgement to him. He saved us since yesterday to today. It's not because we are smart. It's not because of his uh, benefits upon us. May Allah continue being beneficial to us. My name is um, Imam Junaid Abdul Qadri, and uh, you are on your program, Wazubia Television Tafsir, for this year's uh, Ramadan 2020. Our topic today is an episode from Islam, banking in Islam. It can also be called Islamic banking and finance. So that is what we are going to talk about today, inshallah. Why this topic? We need to let the world know more about Islam and what are the preparation of Islamic concepts for all Muslims around the globe. Many Muslims are saying banking is haram. Many Muslims are saying banking is forbidden. Insurance is bad. Uh, savings is not articulated by Quran and Sunnah. So we need to let them know what is the position, the rightful position of Islam on banking and finance. That is what we are talking about today. So Islamic banking connotes a system of banking that has zero tolerance for taking and consumption of usury. In other words, it is a non-interest system of banking in which both profit and loss are shared equally, equally between the creditors and debtors. For store a form of cheating, deceit, and fraud. The banking, the Islamic banking system forbids all kinds of legal business and transaction. This is al-mu'amala, al-mu'amala. So Islam has money hajj. Money hajj means system of doing things. For Islamic money hajj, we have five concepts. The first one is al aqidah The second one is al -Ada. The third one is Ashaqsiya. Fourth one, Ibadah. Then the, 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 the fifth one is uh, al muamalat So uh, al aqidah mode of thinking. Ashaqsiya, mode of operating. al muamalat mode of transaction of business. And Ibadah, mode of worshipping. Then Ashaqsiyat, how do you relate with people? What is the what is the Adahada? How do you relate with people? How do you respect people? How do you respect your parents? How do you respect your family and your uh, senior colleagues at work and the likes of that? So those are al uh, 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 Now, is banking anything that's about business is under is under al Ma'amala. So for Islam to have recognized al muamala that shows banking and system is among it. Then what, which ayah now tells us that we should bank? Which ayah of Quran says we should bank? The ayah that says that is Surah Al-Ashri. Surah Al-Ashri, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ya ayu alladina amanu taqullaha wa litanzuru nafsun ma qaddamat lagadin 
وتقولها إن الله خبير بما تعملون ولا تكونوا كالذين نسوا الله فأنساهم أنفسهم فأولئك هم الخاسرون سورة الله مولانا العظيم على سيس يا أيها الذين آمنوا يو بلي تقولها في الله ولتنظر نفس ما قدمت لجدي and each person each soul each personality should look up to what he will say for tomorrow he should look up to what he will say for tomorrow and this tomorrow is divided into three tomorrow today for example is tuesday tomorrow the first tomorrow is wednesday what are you putting in place today for your activities of tomorrow that is banking if you save your transportation fare if you clean your clothes you iron your clothes today because of tomorrow if you put what you will eat well at home before you go out tomorrow in place if you put what you will eat think about what you will eat when you whenever you get out tomorrow it's part of banking today for tomorrow and as says you should keep something for your tomorrow that is to say you should have an excessor you should know how to be have a saving culture that is the first tomorrow the second tomorrow is our children our children how do you plan for them how do you set aside some things for them if you send your child to school if you send him to islamia if you send him to learn a vocational courses it is also banking it's also an insurance it's also an act of savings you are saving the, the money you are spending on them is also known as banking that is the second tomorrow and the third tomorrow is your year after if you if you have a good attitude is banking if you pray your uh, uh, five daily prayers is banking if you fast during the month of ramadan is banking if you if you do if you are righteous to your to your parents to your country to your neighbors to your community all these are what you are saving to earn your reward in the year after and allah says when it comes to nafsun ma qaddamat lagadi wa taqullaha inna allaha kabirun bima ta'malun allah says fear allah fear allah fear allah you should fear allah because saving for tomorrow has three reasons it has three reasons the first reason is hazard of living too long the problem of living too long the second one is hazard of living dying too young the third one is hazard of living long but being disabled ibadallah among these three everybody will love to hear one we like one so but let's talk about the first two living living too yani yeah, dying too young anybody can die anytime kullu nafsin zaiqatu al-maut wa idha jaa ajaluha la yastakhiruna sahatan wa la yastaqdimun allah akbar allah says everybody will die and whenever it is time for anyone to go nothing can stop him from dying so it can die anytime we are only praying may allah let us live long amen however what about if the dead comes any than expected what do you have in place for your children what do you have in place for your family what do you have in place for your next generation so you have to save in that regard that is what is now informing banking system save some money because of unforeseen circumstances so that is the first one the second one is living too long you might live too long but if you get a time you will not be able to work again you are 45 years old now you are 40 years old now but by the time you are 70 years old 75 years old in fact going out will be will be an offense to you going out to work 
will be making you a criminal. Do you want to kill yourself, daddy? Do you want to kill yourself, mommy? At age 80, you are still going out to work to do what? No, it is not okay. You will hear your children saying that. By age 75, by age 80, even if you live long, you will be asked to be sitting at home. If I don't lie, if you have not, if you have not saved for this period, how would you be able to enjoy your old age? How would you be able to enjoy your old age? The first one is talking about insurance. Aside of living too young, he's talking about insurance. Keep insurance in at heart. Save. Put insurance, pension scheme, and banking system. They are all a sort. They are all from for banking in Islam. They are all from, they are one. The system might be uh, separating them, maybe because of the reasons best known to them. But they are one. The first aspect of it in Islamic environment was insurance. People were saving money then. I am coming to that. Let me address the third one. The third one is living too long but being disabled. If you are disabled, would you be able to work again? Would you be able to fetch food for yourself again? Would you be able to do anything you are doing now again? No. These are reasons why banking is expected of every Muslim. May Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and allow us to, you know, engage in banking system in a halal way. In a halal way. So why are we now talking about Islamic banking system? The one that is Islamic. That shows there are some banking system in the environment that are not Islamic. Fikir Council of Islamic uh, Jurists, they met in 1976 in Jidda. And uh, they discovered through observations and investigation, they discovered that the banking system has, was operated even up to this age. They are having the undertoning of Ustri. Ustri, Maisur, Guru. Ustri is uh, free money. That is talking about uh, uh, bribery. It's talking about putting too much money on loan given out to customers. Yes, interest. That is the word I'm looking for. Interest over zillion profit. You are given out one million, you are expecting two million after three months. Good street. Guru. Type of business Muslim or people were doing, were engaging in, they were not known. They were not well explained. They were eating. To that effect, they discovered that some banking system were financing terrorism. We are financing uh, act of war. Allah we are mashallah. So all these they were what brought about you no know, narrowing down system of banking to what we are calling Islamic banking and uh, finance. Let's quickly go for this break. And inshallah, after this uh, uh, time out, we shall continue with the lecture. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam. I hope say people, they learn. People making a learn, leave something for your future. Hmm. Our imam, they tell us now, so make we go this short break now, will they come back? My name is Lukman Bankoli. I'm sending this video from Sun Water. The month of Ramadan 
This month gives us opportunity to wipe away our sin. The month that we show love. The month of Ramadan is the month of receiving, the month of discipline, the month that teaches us how to live the rest of the year. So when, when the month of Ramadan comes, some people adjust their lives. At the end of the day, it will shape how they live their life for the rest of the year and many good things start coming into their life. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Abdul Bashir Balogo. I descend this video from VI. I want to know what Ramadan means to me. This month of Ramadan and holy month, when we say any bad party, what we know, say what they do, make we leave them. You will not say they smoke before, leave them. You will not say they drink before. Drink will not be to drink water. Or if they drink alcohol, if they take alcohol, you need to stop them. But that one no means after this month finish, make we can go back to her. No, that will make we fear God. For you, when you know say want to do this video too, send them to at Wazobia Mass, either on Instagram or Twitter. Come tag up, hashtag Ramadan 2020 with Wazobia. Thank you. So you wait the watch if you want to participate now. So now the easiest way we need to sample them so that you go feed do them conveniently. So we need to go back to our imam now. Make our over to you, imam. So Alhamdulillah, you are welcome back. And uh, we are talking about Islamic banking system. How do we bank in an Islamic way? So. The first part of our discussion talk about the fact that every transaction that has an iota of cheating, such as jackpot, pool staking, gambling that involves cheating, injustice, and oppression of the poor to the advantage of the rich, is frowned against in Islam. Anyone that is enriching uh, the rich only that is making the poor poorer is frowned against. Now look at the systems we are having now in every part of the world. We have five or so to speak three that are most known. We have capitalism, we have communism, we have socialism. Capitalism is talking about um, the some. The, the, the survival of the fittest. You are a robbery man. They, they call it uh, Rasmalia. Rasmalia in Arabic. Because you are the robbery man, you have the money, then you now engage some people to come around. They will be working. You will, they are submitting their ideas, submitting their time, submitting their, you know, at expertise, but yet after the end of the business, they will go home with nothing. Capitalism. That is not okay. Then communism, all the goods and the money of the business transaction goes to the community, maybe the government. Socialism, all this money, profit, goes to a class of people. It is in socialism, we now have aristocratism, we have uh, nepotism, we have tribalism. All these, they are creating Adam Shurut, nihilism, nihilism, Rasmalia, Shuyohia, and uh, socialism, they are creating nihilism, Adam Shurut. And Everybody is now taking law at their hand. Everybody is now deciding their own principle because they believe that nobody cares for them. Government cares for themselves. The rich cares for themselves. And even the class of people, those that have influence, that have money, only care for themselves. So everybody is now putting law at their hand. Nobody cares for the for the poor, nobody cares for the have not. They want to be having all the money. Because of this, they increase Usri, and the Usri is found against in Islam. If you take Quran, Surah to the Baqarah, verse 276, Allah talk about forbidding of Usri. Surah to the Baqarah again, verse 278, Allah frowns against Usri. Surah to Ali Imran, Verse 130. This is where Allah says, Yeah, you are Ladina Amanu, 
la ta'kulu riba ad afan mudha'afatan wattaqullaha la'allakum tuflihun Allah says you are a believer you are a believer do not consume ushri double doubling the money or multiplying the money don't take clear from it but fear Allah that you may be successful if you fear Allah the success can come from any angle it is not from money it is alone you can receive uh, success they also in certain nisa Allah says wa aqsi in riba wa qad nuhu anhu wa atilhum amwalan nas bil batil wa atadna lil kafir wa minhum azaban alima Allah says and for they are taking of ushri while they are been forbidden from it and they are consuming of the people's wealth unjustly they consume people's wealth unjustly the capitalists are always ready to consume the wealth of even those they are employee unjustly they know what is supposed to be given to them ibn taymiya in his book fatawa imam taymiya ibn taymiya brought hadith where allah was talking about what is the wage what is the commission of a worker if somebody works for you what does he is is he supposed to collect from you 10% 10% of your profit of the money you are able to earn after the business transaction 10% if you earn 10000 your worker should collect 1000 If the end part hundred million, ten percent is supposed to be given to the worker. You can now uh, 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 spread the ten percent to be their salary. You can you you can foreshadow it. You can pay in forms of mudaraba. We have uh, wakala, we have musharaka, we have ijara, we have istisna. If we get there, inshallah, probably we can still continue with this topic tomorrow. we will discuss all these aspect of Islamic financing so if you you have you have a way of sharing uh, 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 a profit you cannot just step zero it down to only 1940 or 1910 that you will now collect 90 you will give 10 to 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 the you know to the uh, employee uh, employee no you can still look at other aspect that will favor your situation it might not be only 10% situation you understand, you understand but you should not take all the money that is what islamic is saying the talib are going to say let the money be spread among the other people that is the money of or in which you use the money you save to transact business with so allah allah frowns against ushri he frowns against myself he frowns against uh uh riba in terms of uh, islamic uh, banking if they keep the money with you in form of banking it with you in, in a bank we have various banks now we have various banks we have zenith bank we have gtb we have uh uh gaius bank and recently we have touch 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 bank all these they are banking system They will not have insurance system we have cornerstone we have africa alliance we have all the other insurance system we have them then we have pension scheme also so we are now developing islamic uh, uh, aspects from there this islamic aspect is that aspect that we look it is just entry into nigeria is is just saying, uh, 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 we are just saying them now for uh, since about 10 years ago they started operation and uh, we are examining and observing them uh, observing them because we need to see a situation where they will be operating according to the uh, sharia injunction where they will not turn it to a capitalist operation again by the time we get there that will be the second part we will talk about it i mean aqwalin uh, al mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam from the saying of prophet muhammad on the issue of a uh, banking system prophet muhammad says an abi urayra radiyallahu anhu wa an nabiyyi 
Kola ijtanibu sabu'a al-mubbiqat. Kolu ya Rasulullah wa ma gunna. Kola ashirku billah. Wa sikru wa kutlu nafsi alati aramallahu illa bil haqqi. Wa aklu riba wa aklu mali yatim. Wa tawalla yawmal zakh. Wa qasbul al-muqsanati al-gafilati al-muqminati. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Abu Uraira radiallahu ta'ala ani who says, Prophet Muhammad says, avoid the seven deadly sins. When he was asked about them, he explained, to ascribe partners unto Allah. Allah Akbar. Magic, to slay the life which Allah has made sacred, to save in the cause of justice, to swallow usri, to swallow and offer money, to flee on the day of attack and to traduce virtuous, believing and unsuspecting women. These are, this is an adage that Prophet Muhammad say used to teach us that we should be careful from uh, who's sweet. This is where we are going to stop today. As I promise, inshallah, we will continue with this topic tomorrow to give some analysis on how Islam wants us to bank in an Islamic way. My name remains Junaidu Abdul Qadri. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Jazakumullah khairan afa. Thank you very much. Our Imam don't tell us everything where we need to learn. They say even if they pray your five daily prayer and are part of banking in Islam, I beg, save for your children, save for the future of your children. Take care of your parents. They don't tell us this thing. Make it not be when you go congress and go talk, say, I die, no. No, I beg. We go finish this program today. Join us tomorrow. You wait just the mix now. We just talk about Al Iqtusud, Fil Islam, banking in Islam. Tomorrow, join us. So now here we go draw the curtain until we come your screen again. Masalam. <music>